let's just do one thing on, on the Libra Code real quick. It says, this is uh, paragraph 38. It says, private property, this is out of the Libra Code, private property, unless forfeited by crimes or by offenses of the owner, can be seized only by way of military necessity for the support or other benefit of the Army or of the United States. It says, if the owner has not fled, the commanding officer will cause receipts to be given, which may serve the spoilated owner to obtain indemnity. The receipt to your, that mother land, the receipt to that mother's DNA, is a certificate of live birth. If you have not fled, in other words, if you haven't run from the name, like a bunch of people are, are doing right now, is running away from their property, saying it's not mine, it's not my name, it's not my stuff, Guess what? If you have not run from the name, if you have not run from the property, if you have not fled, a receipt will be given and you'll be able to obtain an indemnity. That receipt is the certificate, the certificate of live birth. Understand that the certificate is not the record. The certificate is, is, is the receipt of the record. Remember that mom, when she filled out the forms in the hospital, she did not put pen to, to uh, uh, a bond paper. They created that bond. Mom created a record, but they created a certificate. See the difference? Mom put pen to paper and created a birth record, but the state created a certificate that evidences the record. And that evidence is your receipt. You go back into the pawn shop with your receipt. And now you get back the very deed, i.e. the record. You get back that stuff. You get to put that, 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 that child to rest. You get to pull that, I don't know, maybe a good term for it would be, uh, uh, well, maybe, uh, it, how about hostage? You get to pull the hostage away from the Catholic Church. You get to pull that biological hostage away from the Catholic Church. And that's my point, is that the certificate is not the record. The record is the very document mom created. The author, the, the, the authentic record is what mom actually physically signed. She did not create a certificate. She did not put pen onto a bond paper document. She created a record, but they created a certificate. So let's go to Webster's 1828 real quick and see what it says about certificate. Webster's 1828 says, and I'm going to go down to the transitive verb of the of that word. It says, to give a certificate, to lodge a certificate with the proper officer for the purpose of being exempted from the payment of taxes to support the ministry in a parish or ecclesiastical society. Two, to give a certificate to, acknowledging one to be a parishioner. And finally, the most important thing of all, it says, but such certificated person can gain no settlement. In other words, if that certificate is outstanding, if it hasn't been returned to the creator of that certificate, that if it's outstanding, you can gain no rest, no settlement. You're, that, that, that character will wander, that ghost will wander the earth, will be a sojourner forever, that it will be on its journey forever until you return the certificated person back to the creator. Remember, mom did not create the certificated person. The state did. Mom put pen to paper and created a record of the birth, but she didn't create the certificate. The certificate is the, is the receipt to the record. The receipt of that deposit made on your behalf as the beneficiary to the mother land. You are, remember the Santa K. says when a man proves life? Remember, yeah. at the birth, in the birth process, the captain, i.e. you, were thrown overboard off the vessel. The only thing that showed up on the shores of the hospital, the mass unit in that, in that Christian war, the War of the Waters, the only thing that showed up was, was the shipwreck, the vessel itself. The captain, i.e. the child, the biological child, was nowhere to be found, so he was lost at sea. So when you, again, when you, when you come home, when you, when you, when you, come ashore to the motherland, to the motherland, the promised land. And the only way you can do that is what? Is by having the deed to that promised land in hand. Otherwise, the church 
lays claim to the promised land, lays claim to the motherland, and you can never get to you can never get home except through the grace of the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church. 